So people on the internet think I'm a design expert. I don't know why, or they think I'm a negotiation expert. Yes, I have done things and I've been coached and trained, but really a lot of what I'm saying comes from probably no more than five books. That's why I'm always quoting the same exact books. But if we define life experience plus knowledge plus skills equal expertise, so that would make very few of us experts. That would probably discourage a lot of us from starting to share what we've learned. A lot of people naturally say you have to have those 10,000 hours. So then if your definition is of actual experience, then perhaps we have to start to wonder if that is true. Every time we are not the domain experts, and I'm going to assume more often than not, we are not the domain experts. What do we need to do? Call them. Call the domain experts. What do we need to ascertain from the domain experts? What do we need to know? I think we need to know what questions they would ask this client. And by the time you talk to two or three domain experts, you, you become an expert really quick. And what we need to become is an expert of doing top level conversations. And when it gets into drilling into the bits, we don't need to do that. The more popular understanding of an expert is somebody who just knows a little bit more than you. And how long they knew that is not even important. An expert, you would think a coach is an expert. It's just somebody who's able to help somebody else achieve their best, their optimum. Now, despite what I just said to you, that I'm not a 23 year old standing in front of you, giving you career or life advice, and, and we can accept that to be fine. However, you're not an expert at solving all kinds of problems yet, right? So we mm -hmm. all have to start somewhere. And you read books, you, you go to seminars, you watch videos, and you take courses that help you understand that a little bit better. And then therefore you shave off 14 years of learning down to six, and that's, that's pretty awesome. And we have this discussion more than I like at the office. Nobody is willing to learn anything. They just go around walking around with these dangerous ideas that are never validated, that aren't backed up by anything, not even their own self uh, analysis or critical thinking. So what they do is they spout off things out of their face all the time that they don't know anything about. So my whole thing is guys, stop. Everybody, read a book or two on the subject. Watch a freaking video for crying out loud. Go to a workshop. Expand what it is that you know, because you're walking around, throwing around a lot of dumb ideas, all of you, myself included at times. Read some books. Doesn't even matter if they're good. Just so that you make sure what you're saying lines up with someone who spent some time thinking about it. That's all. And I think that's good enough that's the minimum that you need. And it's very attainable if you do this, you read those five books on one subject, and then you start to develop your own expertise. Okay, now you could be quite famous and know nothing, but that's not you. You're gonna learn stuff and you need to get that information out there. You need to be able to help people. So that means I need to acquire greater skills. I need to learn more things and I need to have more experiences to help people so that they can see that they can see the same image I see of myself. People don't want to be a fraud. They, they, they have heavy dose of imposter syndrome and they don't want to be some charlatan. And so to be consistent with your own view, you don't want to be that. But then what you're doing is you're robbing your, yourself the ability to help other people and to actually do better for yourself. And that's what I'm trying to get at. I want to get away from this idea that you have to have all these things checked off on a list. So for all you young people, youngish people, or young in mindset, don't be afraid to produce a video. Just be honest and transparent because that's what people want from you, okay? Marcus Brownlee, Logan Paul, Casey Neistat, Linus Tech Tips. They all started when they were kids, I think, relatively young. And so the audience and the community grows up with them. In fact, on YouTube, I'm the anomaly, not the standard. YouTube is full of young people sharing their story, their life experience. So there's value in just learning along with you and traveling along your side as you go along your journey. And that's valuable to lots of people. Now, remember you guys, I'm double your age right now. So I have a lot of experience in my life and you're trying to just make this hyper shortcut and jump to the end. So what you wanna do is not to try and stand there and say, I'm the expert, I figured this stuff out. This is what you need to do. But to say like, I'm still figuring it out. I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to be doing, but here's what I've figured out so far. If this helps you, keep watching, stay along with me, come along the ride, and we'll, we'll grow together. Why am I fired up about this right now? Because many of you 
A, aren't willing to do the work. You're not willing to read the book. So you're going to wait for somebody else to read the book for you. And I'm happy to do that. You will pay me and I will read it for you and I will tell you. But if you read the books that you're interested in and the topics that you want to become better known for, please, please do not edit what you give to the community, to the world, to your clients, to your staff. They will get more than what you think you're giving. And that's the important thing. That's how you're going to get known. That's how you'll become an expert.